do the different roles. Now, the different roles that we have, for most of the newcomers, you come in here and you observe the fellow members, the senior members here, to do a presentation, or you see, oh, this is how a R counter performs a role. This is how a Toastmaster the evening performs a role. But ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who do not read that much, do you realize that, I'd like to make known to you, that the roles and responsibility of the man, of each respective role play is actually at the back at the appendix. Okay? I see a lot of kids nodding, some kids nodding, so it's very encouraging to see people who do read. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, don't worry, I'm not here to berate all of you. But here to share with you in how to achieve this. Now I attempted this manual when it was first released. I joined in 2005, as what Gus mentioned, and I actually had the opportunity to do the old competent leadership track because I was also a serving member of the Expo. But ladies and gentlemen, I took, the, I took it upon to do this manual because I like to understand what the respective roles play helps us in. So for that, identifying the objectives, evaluating your own skill level is critical in this respect. Next up, how many of you believe that you need to finish all the roles in this manual? There's about 44 roles, 44 evaluation columns in this manual. Do you have to do all 44? No. Pretty good. <laughs> now, for Nancy, I know she did the CR as well, even though she a competent leader manual. But that's very right. And Similarly to our computer leadership, computer communicator track, where we read notes to the evaluator. While we don't read the notes to the evaluator for the CL manual, it's good for you to read it. Why? Because in this particular manual, while there may be a number of evaluation columns for each role play, you don't actually have to play all of them. For example, I'm reading, I'm reading these pro project number two. No speed evaluator for critical thinking. The leader is to practice good critical thinking skill while serving in any two of the three roles listed. I've actually seen people who play every single role in accordance to this manual because they just choose not to read a few lines. <laughs> well, it, doesn't, it does benefit them because they are playing all the roles, but generally they are not following the program proper and they are taking up a lot of time to achieve this level. So identify the roles required. Who can evaluate in this manual? I would say any member. Any member in good standing. So for example, when Bell is playing the role of a TME, he can actually pass the manual to perhaps Mayday to give him evaluation on Toastmaster of the Evening role. And that will most <laughs> <laughs> And while even doing the CL manual, we are encouraged to give our sincere feedback with a pinch of Toastmasters stamp, <laughs> Toastmastery. But next up, the roles here are very simple, ladies and gentlemen. Any role in this particular club, from the TME all the way down to the timekeeper. But one thing I do need to stress is that there are some compulsory roles, compulsory roles in this manual as well as that you need to be aware of. For example, the timer. In this project that in this project number four, there is what we call the time management project. And timer is a compulsory role. You have no options to do that. Uh, no options to skip that. But you need to play the role of a timer. That's just one time. And how many of you have never played timer before? <laughs> No worries. When I played the timer, I was already an advanced communicator still. <laughs> the reason is, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes we do not take we take the roles for granted. Uh, anybody can be the timer. But to, to those that have not tried it, the timer role can be a very challenging role. Not only must you listen, but you also mean, must be observant of the time. And in Toastmasters movement, the timer is actually a very important role. For example, in a speech contest, there are only two ways a person can be disqualified. One is based on the originality of the speech. 
to this time. A one second difference can differentiate a person who is maybe a champion or one that is being disqualified. So the timer role is utterly important. Next up is the special roles. I call them the special roles because, for example, in project number six onwards, there are what we call facilitating, organizing, and delegation roles. So for that, some of these roles require you to be a chairperson. And this particular role, ladies and gentlemen, you cannot do it alone. I need to stress, you cannot do it alone. Most of the time, I've seen people who do the roles. For example, can you turn to, for those with the manual, can you turn to project number six? Okay, uh, project number six is, yep, number the first one. Help organize a club speech contest. When you say help organize, can you organize a speech contest all by yourself? You can't do that. So for example, these special roles or these unique roles require you to work as a team. And some of these roles only have four opportunities a year. Can you tell me why? Because we only have four contests a year. So when you want to play these roles, these are things that help you help the club encourage members to take up leadership roles. Now I did I forgot to ask Jetson about the timing, but how what is your timing method then? Yeah, look at five minutes for discussion, right? Yes. Yeah, so right. it's five now, fifteen. Fifteen minutes for you. Fifteen. All right. Good. good. <laughs> how many of you recognize this? This is the project matrix grid. Now that I'll be distributing this out, can you just help me pass it out? There is a slight variation to this one and the one that is actually in your manual. First and foremost, this particular grade helps us to identify what are the roles required to play in this particular speech. But one addition that I add in this particular grade is that the first and foremost, the green line over there, over here, help us to identify the roles that you can play for each project. You can refer that in your own perspective. The red line on top is something that I've added to help you identify what are the roles, you, how many role plays that you need for how many roles that you need to play for each project on the top. And the special roles are identified by the circles, rectangles, as well as the squares. So there are in total 22 roles that you need to play for your CL manual. And if you play in the club itself, you will need at least approximately one and a half years. Think about it, 22 roles, meeting twice a month. Sometimes you don't have meetings, and sometimes you might be speaking as a speech speaker. So you have one and a half years to complete this particular manual, if you do it in a club. But this does not restrict you from playing any roles outside the club. So you are encouraged to do so if you want to achieve this manual. Next up, you need to complete the project completion record, which is at the back, the back sheet. So I will urge you to perhaps you can click this in the front of your CL manual. So you have a quicker reference as well as to fill it up as you complete the manual. 